I first recall reading The Weir on a flight back from Dublin to London over 20 years ago and I was quite surprised by the profound effect it had on me. Um, I ended up exploring it in depth throughout my teaching career and later in my drama therapy practice and students and clients included also felt deeply affected by the themes of the play, the stories of the play and I couldn't quite figure it out at first. And then I recalled a quote from the famous Maya Angelou and she talks about the, the trauma of bearing an untold story or the agony of bearing an untold story and that's when I realised the power and the impact that the weir had. And the weir is very powerful. It taps into our psyche, it goes to the places that scare us. But it's not only the, the confronting and alluring nature of the play that appeals, because through the character's disclosure of their stories and the sharing of experiences, they actually find healing and hope. And, and that's why the play is so powerful and was so successful because it reminds us of the importance of community. And it's, it's wonderful, there's so many engaging characters, it has an intriguing plot, um, and yet it speaks to us on those very, very deep levels. Um, one of the characters, Jim, shares a story that actually reveals one of the most shameful stories in Irish history um, that was extremely disturbing at the time. But what came from that was an opportunity for truth-telling and Conor McPherson, you know, doesn't shy away from his own struggles. And he has said often in interviews that for quite a while during his lifetime, um, living in life was so painful um, that he had to kill the fear of it by drinking. And he does that eloquently. He demonstrates that eloquently in this play through his characterization and wonderful plot. And that's one of the reasons why I'm really privileged and really honoured to be directing this play.